Hey everyone, my name is Mega Monkeys. Um, Spencer, I've been getting a few questions for the last while about how to uh, stop having random animation driven by a noise node in Cinema 4D uh, so that you can go in and start animating normally uh, at a certain point. Most recently, a question from Lance Link on, uh, on this video. Um, so I've looked at it uh, for a few minutes. I think I've come up with a few possible solutions. Um, so first thing I'm going to add a cube um, and just have very simple uh, a noise node driving the X uh, coordinate. So do that, just crank it up a little bit, make it more obvious. Um, so now we have that. Um, so the first thing probably the most obvious, uh, most useful, will be just to turn off the enabled switch, uh, like that, keyframe it on and off. Um, so we have that, and uh, now we can make keyframes, um, like that, oops. Um, so that's probably uh, what you're looking for. Another option is uh, if I'll just make another node. Um, just turn off that animation. We can uh, add a um, a freeze node. So how that works is we'll pass that through and by default it won't do anything but if we add a constant node so that's just a number um, we can put that into the switch value and if we set a value for um, 0 and then the next frame at 1 then it'll start not doing anything and then once you hit the switch of the constant to one then uh, the cube will freeze wherever it is in the animation so here it's at minus three centimeters um, so if you want it to just freeze wherever it is regardless of uh, the animation uh, whatever that might be uh, that's one option another and a similar option would be to create a uh, condition node. So if we do a similar thing, pass this through with the switch. Um, the only difference being that it won't freeze wherever it is. Um, it will go to wherever you have the second input uh, set to regardless. Um, so if we set this to 100, for example, then it'll do that. Once it hits the switch, it'll snap to wherever you have the second input uh, set to. So those are three options. There's uh, disabling the node so that you can animate like you normally would. There's freezing to wherever the random animation is at that point, or having it snap to another constant node. Um, so there's a few solutions. I hope one of those suits whatever your, your needs are. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.